And yesterday, severe weather thanks to remnants of Hurricane Barrel brought several reports of tornadoes, hail, damaging wind all over the northeast and right here in the Twin Tiers. WNY's meteorologist Connor Freithoff has a recap of yesterday's events and a look at what severe weather records were broken yesterday. Connor? Yes, Nick, for much of yesterday afternoon, the remnant low from the former hurricane barrel spawned several tornadic thunderstorms that made their way into the Twin Tiers. High winds and even some hail also made appearances as severe weather took center stage. The remnants of hurricane barrel traveled northward after leaving parts of Texas underwater for several days. Yesterday, there were 42 issued tornado warnings in a day, breaking the Empire State's record for the most in one day. In the past several years, the remains of hurricanes have traveled northward, impacting areas like the Twin Tiers. But this time, high humidity provided more fuel to Barrel's fire. We had an unusual amount of humidity, we had tropical humidity over upstate New York and you know northern Pennsylvania, and we had strong low-level winds which generally those two don't happen <laughs> up here, but the tropical system brought it up here. Ingredients for severe weather were present throughout New York and northern Pennsylvania for much of yesterday afternoon. Tornado warnings cropped up from Lake Erie to the Mohawk Valley. However, severe weather and hurricane season is far from over, with the latter still months away from peak activity. This is just the beginning of tropical storms and hurricane season. It goes all the way through October into November, and this is going to be a very active season. We already, we're already beginning to see it. So, you know, with tropical storms and hurricane remnants, you know, flooding, severe weather, high winds, you know, so, you know, be prepared for all that. Now that the storms have passed, surveys are being conducted to assess the damages caused by Wednesday's severe weather. So far, the National Weather Service in Buffalo has confirmed six tornadoes that touched down in western New York, including three at EF1 strength. And earlier today, the Binghamton office confirmed a tornado touched down in Oneida County for a total of seven. Nick.